So it's a first of many to come. How will the space-based service be able to track air traffic? The satellites will receive broadcasts from aircraft that uh, tell the aircraft's position. And then they will also provide a relay service for radios so that pilots can talk to air traffic controllers uh, in the same way that they do if they're close to a major airport. And this means for the first time ever, there will be a full global coverage for air traffic management where the service that you get in the middle of the Pacific Ocean will be the same service that you get if you're close to, say, Sydney Airport. All right. And uh, you're also working with partners in the Pacific on this, aren't you? Uh, we're working with partners all around the world, uh, in Australia, uh, in the Pacific, uh, in uh, America and in Europe. And what will this mean for passengers? For passengers, it means that they, the impact of air travel on the environment will be reduced by reducing fuel burn, uh, and this also saves money for airlines, so hopefully we might see that in ticket prices. What it also means is that when an aircraft hits turbulence, it will be much easier for the pilot to get a clearance to change altitude to somewhere where the air is smoother, and that means that you hopefully the days of the seatbelt being on sign being on for half an hour before you can uh, get up and walk around again are gone.